The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Jerry gets in the game. Yeah, well, when he does, I can assure you I, I won't disgrace myself like you two All do. right, all right. Oh, oh you right free, you're out! Oh. Oh. Kill the umpire! Audrey, the umpire is Dr. Jacoby. Well, from now on, I'm taking my astigmatism to another eye doctor. <laughs> Dr. Jacoby, why don't you make an appointment with yourself and get your eyes examined? Yeah. Why don't you do something like oh, that, huh? Honestly, I'm gonna oh. move somewhere else. Understand you two. Jerry Carmichael batting for Mike Martin. That's my son. This is his first year. He's the youngest player on the team. The youngest player on the team. Wait a minute, mister. Where are you going? My son's going to bat. <laughs> Winner! <laughs> Come on, Jerry boy. Suck that old apple. Give it a ride, boy. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry boy. Get it. Game. Where's your team, Spear? We're 18 runs behind. Come on, Jerry, hit that old hard time. Okay, Jerry. Be right out. Oh, what's the matter with you, Doc? Got your contact lenses in backwards. <laughs> Come on, Jerry. This is really funny. Quiet, quiet. You'll make Jerry nervous. <laughs> okay, Be right three. Oh, you're Strikeouts. He's old enough to be in those shaving commercials. Listen, I'll meet you there. Okay, Audrey, we'll meet you later. Boom! Oh. Lucy, come on, we promised the boys we'd buy him an ice cream cone. Sherman, 
I don't want you to feel badly now. I know you'll do better in the opening game tomorrow. Come I here. sure hope so. Come on, Jerry. Don't you feel badly either. You'll do better tomorrow, too. I won't be here tomorrow. Why not? My manager seeing me down to the B team. Why? Just because you struck out once? I guess I'm not big league material. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> well, I should say it isn't fair. Why, Mickey Mantle strikes out lots of times. Viv, take the boys and go to the car. I'll see you later. Okay, come along, fellas. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna do what I'm sure Mickey Mantle's mother does when he strikes out. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna have a talk with the manager. Good. Mm. Oh, hi, Mrs. Carmichael. Uh, Jerry tells me you're going to send him to the minors. Yeah, well, I think it's best for him. He's a, he's a fine little ball player, but his hitting just isn't quite good enough yet for an A-team. I see. Well, well, now, how would you know how good his hitting is? He's only been up once. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, I run the team the way I see it. I'm the manager. Ha! <laughs> Some manager. How'd you ever get to be manager anyway? I was the only father who couldn't think up a good excuse for getting out of it. <laughs> Mr. Cresson, mm. I noticed that your son struck out today. Is he being sent to the minors? Uh, Mrs. Carmichael, if every boy who struck out today was sent to the minors, I wouldn't have any team. Aha! Uh -huh. Then why are you picking on my little Jerry? All right. All right, I'll give Jerry one more chance. I'll start him in the opening game tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Mr. Crescent. Baseball needs more men like you. <laughs> well, let me know when they find him. I'd like to get back to my hardware store. <laughs> oh, and don't you worry about Jerry's hitting. By tomorrow's game, he'll be another Mickey Mantle. And uh, Mrs. Carmichael... Yes, sir? Mickey Mantle spent years learning how to hit. I know, but he didn't have me to coach him. <laughs> What's in the book? You sit down now and I'll show you. Here, you take these rubber balls, you squeeze these, that'll get the muscles in your hands real strong. Now squeeze them. That's right. Now, now watch here. You see, you take the bat like this, put your hands together, and then you, you go straight out like this. You don't wrap it around your neck like that, see? You step forward with your left foot and you swing nice and level. Now, you see, that would have been a two-bagger. That's pretty good for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not going to be satisfied until you are the short sultan of squat. How about that? Listen, keep squeezing, Jerry. Now, I want to show you something in this book here. You see how he's holding the bat? You Sherman? What, Mom? Come on down. It's time for me to rub your arm again. Again? Yes, again. I'm too busy, Mom. I'm writing a composition for English. Writing? With a game tomorrow, you'll ruin your pitching arm. <laughs> now, what else am I going to do with? You just dictate it to me, darling, and I'll type it for you in the morning. Now, you sit down and let me rub my little southpaw's arm, huh? <sighs> now, you see, part of the trouble is you're not getting the bat around fast enough. Keep squeezing, Jerry. Maybe the bat's too heavy for him. Oh? What do you think, Jerry? The bat's not too heavy. I'm too light. <laughs> well, if you're going to use this bat, you're going to have to choke it then. And if you're going to choke it, you really choke it way up there, see? Boy, Jerry, you're so little. I'm sure glad I'm not pitching to you. What's that got to do with it? Yeah, what are you talking about? Well, it's just hard for pitchers to throw strikes to somebody that small. Oh, you mean if he scrooches down in the batter's box, it would be even harder? Hey, it also helps if he can rattle the pitcher. Good idea. How do you rattle the pitcher? You scare him. You, you look mean and you snarl at him. Keep <laughs> squeezing, Jerry. Now, all you gotta remember is scrooch, snarl, and swing. Okay, Jerry, let's see what you can do. Okay. Take a good swing now. What's the matter? I can't hold the bat. Why not? <laughs> The ball so much, my fingers are exhausted. <laughs> well, you poor little. 
little thing. I guess you've had enough practice for tonight. You go to bed, sweetheart. Okay. Good night, Mom. Good night, dear. Ralph! <laughs> What's that? I was practicing my snarl. Oh. <laughs> that ought to scare the pitcher. Yeah, especially if he walks up to the plate to kiss you good night. <laughs> Let me know if you want another massage before you go to sleep. Gosh, no, you rub my arm away. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Good night, darling. Good night. Go right to bed and go right to sleep now. Don't you worry about that game tomorrow. Right, no, tonight. don't worry night, about darling. it, Sherm. Lucy? What? Are you nervous about the game? Oh, nervous as a cat. How about you? If a dog walked in, I'd arch my back. <laughs> Oh, Viv, this is ridiculous for two grown women. After all, it's only a game. Yeah, it's only a game. Yeah, what difference if Jerry doesn't get a hit tomorrow? <laughs> and what if Sherman does lose the game? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Lucy, we gotta slow down and save ourselves for the rest of the season. Yeah. I guess with Little League mothers, the legs are the first to go. <laughs> we just got to forget all about baseball. Yeah, let's put it completely out of our minds. Right. Let's think about something else. All right. What do we do? Well, now, let's see. It's 10 to 9. 10 to 9. What inning? Bottom of the fifth. Hold up, Tigers! Viv, we got to get hold of ourselves. Let's think about something else. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's eat something. Yeah, okay. How about a piece of fruit? All right. I'm gonna have an orange. All right, I'll have one, too. Oh, well, there's just one. Here, you take it. No, no, I don't need it. Here, give me something else. Oh, no, I wouldn't do that. I'd like a banana. <laughs> You're oh, particularly about so having silly. an orange, honest to goodness. Hey, that was a good catch. Wasn't bad, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, what's around the infield? Uh, okay, oh, oh, here yeah. you go. Bed, try to get some sleep and forget the whole thing. That is a good idea. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crack. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never come back, cause it's room, room, room for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame, it's a shame. Cause it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old game. Let's go to bed. <laughs> in there and pitch. Just a minute. Some umpire you are. What are you trying to do, throw this game? Mrs. Bagley, Mrs. Carmichael, would you please get off the field? Not until you reverse your decision. That last pitch was a strike. How would you know? Because my son said so. And her son doesn't lie. <laughs> that's how I know. Yeah, that's how she knows. Ladies, ladies, please. Mr. Crescent, you tell him. Sorry, I'll get him back in the stands. <laughs> that isn't what you're supposed to tell him. Ladies, we have a rule in the Little League. No mothers allowed on the field. Some manager you are. Yeah, how much is a syndicate paying you to throw this game? <laughs> now look, if you two are not back in the stands right away, I am going to ask the umpire to throw you out of the park. You wouldn't dare. Umpire? <laughs> All right, play ball. <laughs> Watch it, keep your eye on it. Keep your eye on it, Jerry. There it goes. Oh, dear. 
but you swung at it. It's not fair. I was snarling it. Threw off my timing. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're out. Come oh, on. Oh, out, out, just out. a minute. Oh, no, not again. This is an outrage. You're giving umpires a bad name. Yeah, and you're not doing too much for doctors, either. I bet you have trouble reading your own eye chart. You can see me, can't you? <laughs> Unfortunately, I can. <laughs> Why don't you two get back in the stands? Why don't you get back to your hardware store? <laughs> we may demand a new umpire, and we may demand a new manager. Um, can't you do something about these two meddling mamas? Yeah. Out. Out? Out of the park, into your car, and home. <laughs> you can't do this. Unless you are out of here, by the count of three, the Tigers will forfeit the game. One. Two. <laughs> How humiliating. Oh, you'll get used to being kicked out. The first time's always the hardest. <laughs> you mean you've been kicked out before? No, not this season. <laughs> Boy, I would have given him a piece of my mind if I didn't want to forfeit You're the game. Right. Oh, I sure would like to see Sherman pitch. And I'd like to see Jerry play. I wonder if we could sneak back in. Lucy! Well, it was just a thought. <coughs> well, come on, girl, let's go. Listen, Viv, mm -hmm. I have some shopping to do. I'll, I'll meet you at home later. Okay. See you there. You're out! <laughs> Michael, do you want me to forfeit this game? No, sir. Well, then get out and stay out. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> games carrying a lady's purse. <laughs>
Congratulations, Mrs. Carmichael. Thank you. Hey, how about that? That was my son that hit that home run. How about that? Wasn't that wonderful? That was my son. Whose son do you think was the winning pitcher? 